this video clip explains how to write exponential equations from data in a table. So if Mr. Lee purchased his car, it had a value of 15000 Each of the first two years after he purchased it, its value decreased, getting smaller, as shown in the table. So to find out what percentage the decrease was, we would say 13500 compared to 15000 We have our calculator, we say 13,500 divided by 15,000. So 0.9. So that's 90%. So it has lost 10% of its value. Well, at least that first year. Let's check on the second year just to be sure. So we'll do 12,150 compared to 13,500 on our calculator. 12. Thousand one hundred fifty divided by thirteen thousand five hundred. Well, that is also ninety percent. So each value each year the the car is only 90 worth 90 percent of what it was the year before so and the first year well initially it was worth fifteen thousand so we can say the value of the car is equal to fifteen thousand times zero point nine raised to the T, where T would represent the number of years since he bought it. Another table shows bacteria, the number of bacteria, and that number is increasing each hour and So if we see how much it increased, we would compare the 500 to the 250. So if we say 500 divided by 250, well that's twice as much. 500 is twice as much as 250. To do that the next year, well, if I do 1,000 divided by 500, I will get the same value of 2. We know initially we started out with 250 bacteria. So we could say that the population of bacteria is equal to how many we had to start with. times 2 raised to the t, t representing the number of hours in this case. A colony of ants can increase as shown in the table below. We could write an equation from here also if it's exponential. Um, so 5,184 divided by 4,320. 
divided by 4,320. 4,320. Well, that says 1.2, meaning that it has increased by 20%. It's increased by 0.2, which is 20%. So there's 20% more ants, 20% more, yeah, ants in month three than there was in month two. So let's check just to make sure. 6,221 divided by 5,184 divided by 5,184 Well, that one is not exactly 1.2, but it's really, really close. One digit, like if it was 1.21, that would be 10% different or so. So we're very close to exactly 1.2%, 1 1.2, 20% increase. The reason that's not completely exact is because um, we wouldn't say 6,221.3 ants. You would just round to the nearest whole ant when you figure out these things. Anyways, but we don't have the initial number of ants. So this one, we know that the number of ants is equal to some number times 1.2 raised to the t. Well, we can solve for x by using one of the values that we do know. Well, when the number of ants was 4,320, when the number of months was two. So if I replace the number of ants with 4,320, the number of months with a two, then I can solve for x. I, instead of multiplying by 1.2 raised to the two, I divide by 1.2 raised to the two. Whatever I do to the right side, I have to do to the left. 1.2 squared divided by 1.2 squared is 1. So we have 4,320 divided by 1.2 squared. So let's grab our calculator. We'll get 4,320 divided by, let's put parentheses just to make sure it does the power first, 1.2. Two raised to the second power. So that tells us that the initial value is 3,000. So the number of ants equals 3,000. Times 1.2 increase of 20% each month. So raise that to the number of months and you can find out how many ants you have. 